All right, it's time for another reaction video. This time, another Nightwish song for the Nightwish army out there. And I personally would love to say greetings and felicitations to the Nightwish army out there. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And thank you for turning me on to this band, which is, I find this, this journey is uh, extremely fascinating. You know, I'm only allowed to listen to because I promise to do honest reactions. Um, four songs so far. This will be song five, uh, Romanticide for me. Um, and I can tell you, as a musician or a DJ, when you listen to four hours of music blasting, no matter what kind of music it is, because the shows that I do are so extreme variety, um, you don't want to listen to music on the way home. You just don't. I don't. Okay? But all the time I'm coming home in the middle of the night, all I can hear is Floor saying, last ride of the day. You know? <laughs> well, anyways, let's get to this romantic side. I'm excited. I've done something a little different this time. Um, pulled up the lyrics so I can kind of follow along with the video and, you know, read the lyrics, watch the video, react to the song. Let's just see how this works out. Never done that before. And I'm hitting the button and here we go.
Oh, wow. Uh, where do I begin on this sucker? Um, whew. Uh, yeah, like, you know, like I usually say in all the videos, uh, not only do we react, react to the song, we rate the song. For you first-time viewers out there, Nightwish fans, Nightwish Army out there, uh, fans of the artist, uh, we do honest reactions here. Never heard this before. This was drastically different than the other four songs that I have listened to. Um, kind of three acts. At least that was my take on the song. Three acts of the song. You had the beginning, uh, you know, and the, the verses in the beginning, and then the chorus, and then that's like act two. And then, okay, and then it goes back. And then at the very end, when it was very, very aggressive, that was act three of the song. They're kind of telling the story here, and I get that. Um, wow. Uh, it's really kind of hard to... Uh, I got to hear this again. I, I, I can't rate this song. There's just no way to do that. The musicianship in the band, these guys are really tight. Uh, you know, if I have... What's the positive thing to say? Well, let me tell you a few positive things that I liked about the song uh, is the keyboard player. And let me tell you what I mean by that. In the other songs where keyboards were kind of prominent, he he let the other guys do their thing. And he stayed in the back. You know, he played when he needed to play. He did what he needed to do when he needed to do it. But for the most part, it was a guitar, pace, drums, vocals, song with a little keyboard in it, and I like that because a lot of times when you have a band that um, you know has a keyboard player in it and they do a rocking song, the keyboard tries to do too much. Where here, he just fit in, and that was good musicianship. See, and that's that's what you got to think of. You know, when you, a band like this is just, you know, it, it was, it's just, I, I, it's indescribable, really, uh, when you think about it. Uh, because you have the aggressiveness. Just think about the beginning of the song, how the song started off. And this would this is probably what makes the band good. I don't know. I haven't. This is my. This is song five, so I'm not really sure yet. I'm. I'm just starting on this thing here. Uh, this is something new for me. But you know, the song's so aggressive when it starts that you don't expect if you weren't watching a video. If you were just playing the song, you wouldn't expect a female vocal. You just wouldn't. And then, you know, it, it, to me, you wouldn't, uh, you know. And that's what makes it so unusual because, you know, Floor is obviously a very versatile singer. And I don't know what my take on this song is. Uh, you know, to be honest, uh, last ride of the day keeps sticking in my head because it's like the last thing I hear every night. Last ride of the day. You know, it sticks in my mind. I got to listen to this one a few more times before I can honestly tell you what I think of it, except the musicianship. The drums may have been a little too pounding in this one for me, but I don't know. With a song this aggressive, you kind of need pounding drums, you know, and I love drums. I'm I'm a big drum guy. Uh, you know, that's, I'm, drums is very important to me. Uh, not only am I a drummer, uh, or let's say I was a drummer um, back in the day. I'm it, drums are important to me, and you know, you know how I feel about this guy. I said it in the last video, and you know, of course, a lot of people went back with the two drummers and yada yada yada, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And um, I want to talk more about the drummer, but I'm not going to do that on this video. I'm just going to say, okay, uh, this is song five. I'm ready for song six. Uh, which I'm going to react to next and uh, kind of just kind of put this one on the shelf here and go, mm, okay, this one needs more listens. Um, but the other four that I've done, I really liked. I don't know about this one. We'll find out, though. Uh, my next song, we're going to do two Nightwish videos this week, and I hope that you tune into it to find my reaction on that one. So uh, in the meantime, Nightwish Army, thank you so much. God bless all of you. Uh, take care. We're going live. I hope you chime in on the show. Let's talk about some other bands maybe you can turn me on to or uh, other music that you listen to other than Nightwish, um, and we can have that discussion later. In the meantime, peace, love from the Steve Champagne Radio Show, wherever you may be watching from, and uh, we'll talk to you later.